of the sort of thing the locals would wear to work. I was thinking more working in a shop or working on a building site, not working in an embassy or going to a formal reception. It's Brighton Beach, 1965 Mods and Rockers. Richard had a new look too, but sadly not a new bike, because annoyingly the mints could dry it out. People's ears Excuse me. blaming people next. Oh, here Excuse me. Hi. Give someone a charm. <laughs> You wearing that for a bet? Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> are you wearing that for a bet? <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Oh, okay. If, so you were saying, go on. If, like, they are no, no, gone. I'm going to go and get it. I am going to go and get. It. I wasn't going to treat you, but I'm going to treat you. It's all. not a beheaded former president of Nissan USA. <laughs> <laughs> they have gone mad though. I went to the catalogue. They've done a Nissan bar stool. What? Uh, very, very stylish. Better still, in the catalogue there is a Nissan guitar. <laughs> The Nissan Z car shirt. Hang on, Jeremy, what? have a squirt of that. Yeah. You're getting ready for Christmas. Oh, yeah. I've got everything I need. I've got my treble <laughs> rabbit. I've got my aftershave and I've got my shirt. And you... And I've got my headless businessman. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah. Big day for us all. What are you doing? What? What? Oh, what's that? It's an awards ceremony. I'm wearing a gold lame jacket. It's <laughs> appropriate. It's quite sudden, isn't it? Um, anyway, now the award for the worst dressed presenter on Top Gear. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> and the nominations are Richard Hammond's shorts in the London race. <laughs> yeah. And Richard Hammond's Spandau Ballet tribute coat <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. Check that out there. Yeah. Well, the winner, and I have a good feeling about this one. Oh, it's Jeremy Clarkson from a British Leyland Cars film for his dry suit. What? I thought it was in the bag for more. Oh, 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 yeah. That's, I'm sorry, what about James May and the Aston Martin? Look. <laughs> ah, yeah. But I'm not actually dressed at all there. All right, so then, I'm going to move it on. Can I just say... Them? What? You look like a gay cowboy and you look like a gay terrorist. No, okay. you look like a terrorist with a broken windscreen wiper and your face is ridiculous. Now, look, this is bad. Yes. But I'm afraid the news gets even worse. It can't be any worse. We've both chosen the same car. And once we'd got Hammond properly dressed, we were treated to a spot of light drifting. Or a big one, which is two dollars, because you get more, but you get free refills. So why would you buy a big one unless you were a bit thick? I can't take you seriously in those sunglasses. No, I can't. Oh, sorry. Damn, I've come on another film shoot with two style gurus. Have you ever put toothpaste on your testicles for a joke? Well, to be really honest, yes, I did when yes. I was a teenager. Yes, exactly, so did I. Do you remember the pain? Yeah, I do. Yeah, well... <laughs> Is that what it's like? Yes. Why? What's, what's that bit there for? Is that... Can opener. Bottle opener. What a... You need a bottle opener. It's a bottle opener. It opens beer. Just... Yes. <laughs> we want them. I mean, look at him. He's pretty pointless. So that is a bit of a bit of a rise in the terrain there. No. Nope. Do we, in these unique circumstances, merely leave him mm -hmm. or shoot him and leave him? Because we were working as a team, we decided to just leave him. <laughs> 